I must tell you that uh, for the first time ever anywhere in the Barbican, the riffraff, fabulous, the mighty 13 tracks are available here. Uh, only available elsewhere on our website, but you can get them here off a big pool on the t-shirt stall. Here is the living proof of what I did with my comrades during the punk revolution. Here is the reason why I ended up in the Royal Armoured Corps. Check them out. They're good as gold. They're good as gold. Thank you, mate. Uh, he's over there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where he is. But he'll be here. And if you buy a Riff Raff CD, he's over there. Uh, you'll probably get him to sign it. No worries. Um, the, the Woody Guthrie project really belonged to Nora. Not me and Wilco, but Nora Guthrie, Woody's daughter. And a couple of months after we finished the album, she asked me to take part in a re-recording of uh, Woody's kids' songs. Um, to do, uh, uh, Woody wrote great children's songs, great, great children's songs. And I, I hope that I might get to record Howdy Do, which is my son's favorite Woody Guthrie song. Or maybe um, I'm go riding in my car car. Uh, no, she said Springsteen's recording that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm in then. I'll definitely have a bit of that. She said, anyway, I've got a special track I want you to record. And I thought, oh, God, no. Because there's two reasons. One, you can't say no to Nora. You can't say no to her. She channels Woody Guthrie. You can't, you can't say no to her. And secondly, if she specially wants you to do it, it's probably because no other bugger will do it. It's probably, that's usually. <laughs> and she said to me excitedly, you know, even Woody never recorded this to you in his lifetime. I said to her, uh, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it about then? She said, nocturnal incontinence. <laughs> I thought, okay, okay, you know. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, you know, fellas, as we get older, which, uh, <laughs> don't you laugh, love. Or sneeze. <laughs> yeah, there's usually some woman, one woman in the audience laughing heartily after that entire applause and, and giggle has died down. Still laughing, still laughing. I always wait to let her finish, you know, because I figure she's holding herself as hard as she can, you know. So, <laughs> please don't, please stop making me laugh. So, uh, so I took on the job and I'm proud, I'm proud because really it's not really actually about, about uh, pissing the bed, it's about not pissing the bed. And we're all in favour of that, aren't we? <laughs> Although I must say, we did a night, we did a Saturday night um, at the Grosser Freiheit in Hamburg, which is right on by the Reaper Barn. And after I sung this song, uh, a couple of the uh, guys uh, afterwards who hung around uh, asked me if I'd like to come out to them with a to a club on the Reaper Barn uh, where for a small amount of euros, um, you know, if that, if that, you know, if you were that way inclined, I mean, I've never seen such a big nappy in my life, Grant, as that. And, and how you had the bottle to put it on, I'll never know, mate. But I'm looking forward to getting the pictures back from Boots. And, um, but I never sing this song without thinking of a, a fabulous New Year's Eve I spent at uh, Morrissey's house in Wally Range uh, in, 19, yeah, in 1988. Uh, Morrissey lived in a big kind of Adams family type house. And uh, um, we, unfortunately, Morrissey doesn't have a telly or a radio <laughs> or central heating. <laughs> but, you know, we boiled a kettle. <laughs> we, uh, we had a few pots of tea and some nice little angel cakes he'd made. And uh, we were more or less all in bed by half past ten. And uh, he kindly had allowed me to have the guest room right at the top of the house. And... Um, that was, it was great. I mean, it was, you know, it was sparse, as I suggested, but I've, you know, I've dosed on worse floors. It wasn't that bad. Um, but I got ready for bed, and as I sort of slipped in underneath the Thomas the Tank Engine duvet, um, <laughs> I suddenly became aware that under, un, underneath the, the undersheet and on top of the mattress, sandwiched between the two of them, was a pale blue rubber sheet. <laughs> and you see, I, I feel that that's an utter betrayal of trust. You know, it's like those friends who keep the plastic wrapping on their sofa, you know, in case you come around and accidentally piss all over their city. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Couldn't help myself. So it was 18 pints of lager. I'll piss on your sin. Um, but uh, it wasn't so much the smell of rubber, because Morris's house kind of smelt of rubber anyway. It, 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 was, so, it was really cold. It was cold. It was cold. As I said, it was the middle of winter and no central eating. So I thought to myself, Morris, he's got to have a hot water bottle, hasn't he? I mean, what else does he sleep with? So, um, <laughs> so, so, so I went back downstairs. Uh, I figured he'd have a really nice one with one of those nice sort of flowery covers on it, you know, because he had those little knitted hats that go on the toilet rolls. He had a couple of those. So I went back downstairs and I thought everyone would be in bed, but I actually bumped into the great man on the landing um, in his full wee willy winky gear and his little candle. It's usually about this point that the Smiths fans start weeping audibly. <laughs> no more, Bill. No more. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And uh, so I said to him, uh, Mozza, you haven't got a water bottle, have you, mate? And uh, the terrible truth. The ter I, knew from, I knew what it was. I knew why he put me in that room with that rubber blanket. But I'll tell you this. It wasn't me who did that shit in Paul Weller's shower tray that time, all right? It was Julian Bastard Coke. <laughs> I was there. I was there. But so were all the Haircut 100. It was nothing to do with me. It was nothing to do with me. That's what it was. I could see in his eyes. So I said, you know, have you got, have you got, have you got a water bottle? And the awful truth was, the bloody Jimmy Somerville got it down on the sofa in the living room. The little toe rag. He got it. And he was in the living room where we boiled the kettle. It was the warmest toast down there. <laughs> Don't come and ask me afterwards if it all really happened. <laughs> Just enjoy it. <laughs> my, my relationship with Mozza is based on the principle that if you can't take a joke, you shouldn't have asked for this stupid job in the first place, mate. I think that's a good way to do with anybody, really. So um, I'm going to sing you this song. It's got a kind of a sing-along kind of part in it for you, if, you, if you're that way inclined. Don't all shout at once, will you? <laughs> Does Pete Seeger have this problem? No, everyone's like up for a bit of old raucous sing-songing. A verse, I'll sing you a verse. Here we go. I woke up in a dry bed, mama, come see. I woke up in a dry bed, daddy, I did. I woke up in a dry bed with dry feet and a dry head. I am a big boy now. Hey, look at my dry bed, come see my dry bed. My bed's all dry, dry, and I'm a big boy thinking of me later when you piss that out. Hey, look at my dry bed. <laughs> About three o'clock in the morning, you'll be thinking of me. My bed's all dry, dry, and I'm a big boy. Okay, you can laugh a lot, can't I? Rain didn't rain and wet my bed, sister, come see. River didn't run and wet my bed, brother, take a peek. Dry bed and a yo-ho-ho. I'm going to go to the movie show Cause I'm a big girl now It's only fair Hey look at my dry bed Come see my dry bed My bed's all dry dry And I'm a big girl Hey look at my dry bed Come feel my dry bed My bed's all dry dry And I'm a big girl Well the women didn't join in there was it? No, no, no What's next, Grant? Transylvanians. Dog didn't run and wet my bed, sister, come see. Puppy dog didn't wet my bed last night, brother, take a peek. Dry bed and a yippee eye eye, take me down to the pony ride, cause I'm a big boy now. Last chance. Hey, look at my dry bed, come see my dry bed. My bed's all dry, dry, and I'm a big, insert your preference here. Hey, look at my dry bed, come feel my dry bed. My bed's all dry, dry, and I'm a big boy. My bed's all 